Hello people, this is T J Rob Rock with more Spyro a Hero's Tale. Last time I did the Blink minigame for the first time and I am going to say this, I'm am going to attempt to get a ton smart of the collectibles, but not yet. I will I'm gonna get them later on in the game. I mean I actually have on a sem on a practice file that is also my sister's file of this game, beaten the light gem of Blink. And I have beaten a lot of the light drum minigame levels, so I might be doing a few of those off camera. And that is our sixth star drum. We now have six of the ten of the first area, which is of the first realm, I believe they're called. And in here we have a new minigame we can test and after we talk to this guy. And his name is Frednick. <laughs> Redneck, Frednick, it's a pun. So he's like, hey, I'm a frog, I'm gonna... You wanna get ghost bog? I'm gonna raise it up, but when he says if you're a salesman, I'm buying anything. Now he wants you to help him by So he hasn't eaten anything in about a week. So we get to use wall cannons. So let's get it sorry for a dragon egg and I know I can beat this. And sorry if there's a glare on my green it's because it's sunny outside and I tried to get as much some of the sun out okay so basically you press Y to fire the cannons that is and you move around with the control stick that's about it I don't like try to shoot things from far away try to just shoot them when they get up close and that stupid dragon dog thing got one and that is really bad because I already started this and I already lost some food which is bad because you don't want to lose food I'm gonna lose a maximum of like three things of food, I believe. Now, just by having over, I lost all that food. Yeah, the bats are really ugh, obnoxious in this. And I'm back. Sorry for that cut there. My mom came home early, earlier than she was supposed to. So, bats, 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 bats. I might actually fail this. I actually succeeded in doing this by practice for one, which is really weird. I usually am horrible at this minigame. It's actually a much harder version later on. It's an impossible. That is really insane to do. Now I have more dog things that run around and do stuff. I'm actually pretty sure if they get one more thing of food, I fail this mission. Don't worry, I succeed. I think you need to have at least four things of food left to win. And I only have four left, so. That's the last guy, and we won! And now we get our reward! And sorry if my dog just walked in front of the TV, I just uh, noticed that. So yeah, I have a dog. He walks in front of the TV from time to time. He's looking out the window. He calls the dragon purple. He would have eaten it, but the shell was hard. And then we get a dragon egg! And then he walks back. Okay, my dog is in front of the TV again, so... Move! Okay. So it's like, I want to try again for a light I'm not going to try again, because I hate doing the light versions. I might show a few of them on camera, but I hate the... those ones, so probably not. Also, I have made it to the final boss of this game on my main file of this game, which I have been working on for months on end, and I think my sister might have corrupted it, which is bad. Okay, so now we pretty much have nothing else we can do here right now, because we need to get a few more things before we can come back and unlock more stuff, so... Okay, now I'm going to show off a cool little thing you can do with these. You can teleport using these things, and they always cost 100 gems. These are the only items not affected by the teleport bonus things, and we can go here now. This exit. <clears throat> so you do this little warpy flying thingy in you. Okay, so now we're back. See, we're back where we started with the original money bags. It sells the cheaper stuff. Now that we have actually 12 light gems, which is more than enough, we can come in here and activate the ball gadget, which is actually one of my favorite of the gadgets. Cause it's not just, it's not really a power up, it's more like a little thing you can use to get between areas. And then he makes the pun of ready to roll. Haha. Uh -huh. Turn it up one more. Two more. Okay. You should be able to hear it because I know the volume was a little low on the first episode. I 
camera is not the best at picking up audio, and this game is actually kind of quiet for video games. I mean, Fire Emblem picked up fine, it was actually a lot lower volume. Now, with this, you control by moving around like normal. You jump by pressing the A button or X button, and you charge by pressing the charge button, which I believe is the circle button? I have not looked at the PS2 controller in a while. And then Y is a break. And I know that is the... Okay, wait. Square, circle. Okay. Trying to remember the PS2 controls of this game that I've never... That I haven't used in forever since the day I first played this game. And I usually fail a lot at this game. Basically, what you have to do is use your turbo right here and then jump. And I'm failing. Fail montage time. Okay, I made it. As soon as I finish. Okay, so basically you're invincible in this thing. And there are a good amount of gems in this area, don't worry, you won't miss any. And you actually can just run these guys over. You don't even have to be charging to hit them. I'm just charging because there's some gems up here that you have to pick up by just running through the wall. Now these things, they don't, they don't hurt you, they don't do anything. There's only a few things that can kill you and none of them are in this first one. They just move you around. So it's kind of annoying because you have to drive around in them. Okay. So down here, that is the exit over there. That gets you to the next area, Dragonfly Falls. But up here, there is a gem. That's another 100 gems, I believe. Okay, 50. And in here, there's some more gems. There really isn't any collectibles in here besides gems, so... I'm actually not going to collect all of the gems in here anyway. So now, we can go to the next area. Now to get out, you have to select No to exit. Normally, you would select le Yes to exit, but this game makes it so it's a little harder to quit if you didn't mean to. Like, you have to press B to do use the quit game feature. Now, it takes a minute to get out of the ball, and now we are in Dragonfly Falls, the next area of the game. And it do and we bring back the crocodile enemies from the Crocodile Swamp. And, welcome. And this area is actually one of my favorite areas of the game, just for its awesome music. Do -do 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 -do. It's actually very relaxing, and there's actually a one-of-a-kind enemy in this game, in this area, and I do not have a lockpick, so I'm going to have to come back for that, because that is a light gem, and I know. Because so I just collected that on my practice file, which is not very far ahead of this. And in here, there are just a room full of gems. There are actually a lot of these gem rooms in this area. Metal crates you have to charge, there is a breath that can break them, but we won't get that for a while. A little while, actually. I'm actually quite very close to getting that breath. And over here, here's some more of these head smash drawers that you have to head smash to break. Hop up here, burn that guy, he does a little dance if you set him on fire. And these bats are really obnoxious because they deal damage, but they don't drop it. Now, here's the first dark gem of the Dragonfly Falls. And this one, apparently these plants don't like the light, because the second light hits them, they go blah, 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 and break open the wall behind them. However, for some reason in the main area, the Dragon Village, they can survive in light. And th those are called dark shards, by the way, I know I've already said that. And we get a new, and we get another egg, which is the second of the ember set. Which I'll show here. You have two ember eggs, and these are actually character viewers, not concept art. That's a different egg, but there is a concept art egg that I have not collected any of yet. So there is a drum room back there behind the dark drum with the dragon in it. Okay, the basic fighter here is sheep. That's right, sheep. Okay, now I'm going to get a new permanent, permanent thing you can buy from here, the keychain. See, now we have the keychain, which means we can carry three of the lockpicks at a time, so let's get three. So now, I'm gonna go back and get that chest. Cause I have a lockpick now. So let's run back here and collect our and collect our treasure. By flying over here. Actually it's called glide, you know I I should have I don't usually make that joke. And we have thirteen light gems and one light drum out of let me check. One out of nine light drums from here. There are nine light drums, six dragon eggs, and four light drums. We already have one light drum and one dragon. Eh. One light drum and one. One light drum, one dragon egg, and one dark drum from this area already. So we're actually making some good progress. Now we're gonna come into this room, and this is the room with the one of a kind enemy in it right up here. Past this guy, past the money bags, in here. 
Now, there are the goats. These you kill by a burning. If you try to charge them, they win. It's a game of chicken that you cannot win. Now over here is the Angry Shepherd, as I like to call him, because he's angry and he hits you with his cane, but he's the only Angry Shepherd in the game. I don't know, not what? I don't know why there's only one Angry Shepherd in the game, but there is. So, we hit the switch. If I can land on it. This is actually the hardest part of this level for me right now. And that comes up. However, due to the lack of time, this is going to be where I cut myself off, so bye!